Karthik asks, what is actually real in society today? This seems like a simple question, but it isn't. When we get to the core of the matter, politics is fake, money is fake, status is fake, and prestige is fake. It seems like professional sports are the one area where merit still actually triumphs. Maybe the reason men love pro sports is because this is the one socially approved outlet where actual competitive spirit can be expressed without being shamed for it. Farming is real, architecture is real, plumbing is real, music is real, but other than this, but other than this, I struggle to find what is truly real. Great question. Here's the answer. Everything that you see on the television is not real. Everything you read in the news is not real. You've heard the term fake news, but you haven't internalized it yet. You haven't come to understand that fake news means the news is fake. It's all fake. The television exists to make you believe stuff that is not true. Everything you see on television is fake. It's all a television show. They're not giving you reality. They're giving you a fake narrative that you want to, they want you to believe is real. So what do you see on television? You see the news, you see politics, you see all of this stuff, and then you think because you see it on television, it's real. I'm here to tell you, it's not real. Everything you see on television is fake. It's just a lie. It's a show. It's a drama. The politics you see on television, first of all, people are very obsessed with watching politics and following politics. Is politics so interesting? No, it isn't. You know what's interesting? The drama behind the politics. That's why people follow Donald Trump so much, because of the drama associated with it. And what is drama? Drama is theater. You're watching theater when you watch politics. And when you pay attention to politics, you are watching a play, a joke, a fake. It's not real. Everything you see on the television is designed to make you excited or sad or scared, afraid. It's something to play on your emotions. That's why politics seems so interesting. Because it's fake. It's drama. It's a show. And I have news for you. Everything you see on the television is a show. It's entertainment for you. To keep you preoccupied. To keep you busy. So you don't see what's actually going on in the world. You said professional sports are the one area where men still actually triumph. Well, I have news for you about professional sports. Where do you watch professional sports? Where do you see professional sports? You see them on television. Did you ever notice that the most highly rated games or the most highly watched games are the most entertaining games? How could it be that the most important games are also the most entertaining games? Could it be that they need those, that they need these games to be so important so that you watch from the beginning until the end. And so that you see all of the advertisements for all of the show from beginning to the end. If the game was not interesting, you would turn off the television. If the game is interesting, you will be glued to the screen. The NFL, National Football League in particular, the National Football League, NFL, football on television, is a trillion dollar industry. Do you really think that a trillion dollar industry is left to chance. It's called professional sports. Don't forget the word professional. The NFL, each team on the NFL. Do you remember when the UFC sold for $4 billion and everybody went crazy? Oh my God, $4 billion, so much money. Each team in the NFL makes more than $4 billion every year before the first game is even played. The NFL is the biggest earner on television. It's the most profitable industry on television. Each team makes billions of dollars every year. Do you honestly think this is left to chance? The point that I'm trying to make here is that everything you see on television is not what you think it is. It's not reality. It's an illusion. It's a virtual reality. A fake world. And because it's so exciting and entertaining, we sit glued to the screen and we don't see what's around us. We don't see the real world around us. You asked what is real? Well, turn off the television, put down the smartphone, close the computer, go outside. You'll see people walking around. You'll see families walking around. You'll see children playing. You'll see the birds singing. You'll see the 
beautiful blue sky, unless you're in America, and then you'll see the chemtrail sky. You'll see all of the real things in the world when you disconnect from the fake virtual reality that we call television or news or media. All media is fake. It's designed to maximize your reaction to it. The news is designed to make you feel fear. That's why you watch the news, because it plays on your emotions. The reason you watch NFL is because it is super exciting, back and forth. You don't know what's going to happen until the very last moment. It's designed that way. All of television is designed to get the maximum from you. All of media is designed to get the maximum from you. When you turn off the television, you go outside, you can hear the birds chirping, the birds singing, the flowers in bloom, the green grass, the blue sky, the white clouds, the young children laughing, smiling, and playing, the family that you forgot you had because you were too busy watching the news or watching football or talking about Donald Trump, the family that everybody forgot they had because they got so involved in the virtual reality. They forgot what is real and what is fake. And to them, the fake world became real and the real world became fake. This happened to all of us. All of us were bamboozled by the media. But we have to understand that it's fake. And fake news is literal. That's really what it is. The stories you hear about, the stories you read about, are things that did not ever happen. They're fake. They are put there for a reason. And that reason is to keep you in a state of fear. And Americans are the most fearful people in the history of the world. People are afraid of other countries in particular. Afraid of traveling to other countries in particular because they think in other countries they're going to be kidnapped or killed. Or the government's going to come and chop their head off. So they stay put. And I'll tell you something about America. They don't want you to leave. You know why they don't want you to leave? They want you stuck in that virtual reality, that prison of fear. Because when you leave and you visit another country, you realize how different things are in the real world. You realize that what they said in the news about other countries was a lie. People in other countries are happier and more in harmony. And they spend time with their family and spend time in nature, and they don't live in a state of fear. The American media does not want you to leave. They sell you fear. They want you there so that you keep consuming and buying more stuff. They keep you in a constant state of fear. They do not want you to leave. Why do you think you hear so many bad things about other countries that are not true? Many other countries, I'll tell you what, America is one of the most dangerous countries I've ever traveled to, by far, one of the most dangerous countries I've ever traveled to. Some of these other countries where they say they're going to chop your head off are some of the safest countries that I've ever been to. It needs to be understood that everything you see in the virtual reality, the news, the media, the television, it's fake. It's totally fake. All you have to do is unplug, unplug from the matrix and go see the real world. And you'll know that what I'm telling you is true. Drop the base, Kitty. And if you want to protect your online privacy and help my channel out at the same time, visit drivenanddesire.com forward slash NordVPN. It's restorative, causing a heightened energy. It's excellent for diet because it suppresses hunger. It helps your digestive tract. It's anti-diuretic. It acts against fatigue. And most importantly, it acts against altitude sickness.